Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at some interesting and unusual satellite telescopes from the 1950s. Some of these are uh, rehashed. In other words, I've shown you a couple of these before, but others are brand new and a couple of them may look familiar, but are not the same thing. Stay tuned. I first showed you this one in part four. This is the TASCO satellite scope 7x40, I think. Um, comes in the nice sort of velveteen kind of a box. And it's interesting and unusual because of the 120 degree angle. And I think most of the Tascos that I've seen are uh, at that angle, the 120 degrees. However, I came across this one. This is essentially the same scope, only this has a 90 degree prism in it. Or mirror, maybe, I don't know, it's probably prism. Anyway, it's almost the same exact scope, but it's got a little bit of a different game going on here. And it's, uh, I don't know why they would do that. Why would they change that from a 120 to a 90 degree? Very interesting. It's almost identical in all other respects. Uh, I think here, this looks different because this piece uh, is missing on this one. I think there's a missing piece right there, kind of a guard. Okay, so this is a 120 degree. I thought this was fairly unique uh, as far as, you know, I didn't think there were any other satellite scopes with that angle, but here's another one. And this is the Royal Coated Optics. It's an eight by 40 and it's almost identical. It's got some slight differences. The mounting here is uh, considerably more substantial. The Tasco, this, this has got to be the cheapest tripod, and cheesy tripod I've ever seen. This one has a decent tripod, a workable kind of a tripod. It even has a friction, got some friction control here. And they made an attempt to balance the thing Here's your focus, just like with the Tasco. Very similar. Royal Optical is known for making high quality stuff. So this should be a better quality. Although, honestly, it doesn't look that much better. <laughs> it's about the same. For comparison with both of these, here's the Technar by Swift. This is a six and a half by 30. Just to give you a sense of the difference in scale here. This one has a label, uh, it's called an Arrow, although it's made by Astro Optical, I believe. Matter of fact, here's a picture of the catalog entry. Uh, this one has some interesting features, and by the way, this little piece of wood here, this was intended to be mounted uh, to some sort of a table or a platform of some sort. Maybe a number of them lined up and people all looking through these things at different angles. But I just put it on a kind of a little piece of board here just to give it something substantial to stand on. And this has all the bells and whistles of any decent high quality satellite scope. It's a 6.2 by 50. Uh, it's got the mirror here. And in this case, the mirror is removable. You can lo loosen this up. How's this for fancy? Very nice, huh? Now you can use this straight through if you want to. As a matter of fact, they show pictures of uh, changing this eyepiece. This is a really nice, big, deluxe, purple eyepiece on here change out the eyepiece and put in something with a more standard kind of an eyepiece to go right in there. You have good friction control here and a locking mechanism there. So you can lock it down nicely. Angle measuring device here. And check this out. You can even adjust the position for balancing this thing or even take it out if you want. There's a little uh, kind of a clamping device in here that falls out if you do that. Just be careful. 
careful with it. So when you focus it, you can twist it this way and that way focus it. Then you have a locking mechanism to lock it down for whatever use that might be. Isn't that a cute little devil? I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these interesting satellite telescopes from the 1950s. Thank you for watching.